We don't choose our upbringing. We accept it. For we are too little to have a say. Too little to remember. And maybe our minds were, but our souls always remember. We carry our childhood with us. All of it. We cope how we know how. We smoke, run, drink and bathe or whatever other activity we can find to escape. Always seeking a distraction. Except for the few who choose to remember a time before suffering, before knowing too much. The distinct world where everything is exciting and awe-inspiring, where we only learn to count and not to forget. To re-experience the simple joy of being alive, to exist amid beauty we couldn't understand yet. Where every dream became real in every playground, real enough to capture our attention for hours as we'd laugh and sing and play. Adoring the what if it could questions rather than the what if it hadn't. And having the naive security of a blanket, shielding our innocent, blissfully unaware minds. From the dark not inside our rooms, but in the world outside it. How much easier it was to embrace the vibrance around us as we're fed and protected in the warmth of a home provided for us. With no judgment other than which stuffed animal was picked to sleep on our pillow. Is it so evil to mourn that life? To retreat to the emotional majesty before we grew up? To sink back in time to give the version too little a second chance? Or is the evil embedded in the world that didn't give that child a first chance to begin with? They didn't care what memories would follow or how they could shape an entire future. Because at the time, they were too little. And now it's too late. Isn't it? Okay, Why this is good footage actually. Oh my god, it's just a big lamp. Oh! <laughs> the set's collapsed. That's alright. <laughs>